Hey guys, some of you have shown some interest in my snow plow setup. So I thought I'd just uh, give you guys a tour and kind of give you my review on some things. And uh, yeah, um, so this is my, my truck. It is a 2019 Ram 5500 um, Laramie. It's got the Cummins. Um, I got this truck about in July, I think, um, give or take a month, not sure, and it's treated me really well. Um, it's got super, super nice interior, um, big screen, I think I got almost 17,000 on there it's it's treated me really well it's got all the options it uh, it's a beast and then um, I got a CM flatbed on there nine foot four got a couple tool boxes chains and crap in this one um so I, I had it for a while and i heard something about this kelderman air suspension um so i i, I went and did that got front airbags it's got dual rears It's really a uh, really nice setup. I can uh, do a dump feature. So one's, one's always on. Two, dump it. Then it uh, releases there. And the hits will drop out. I don't know why it's not something, but normally it drops low enough where I can just drop, drop the air, dump it, um, uh, hook up the trailer and dump it, pull away. Works really smooth. Gooseneck doesn't give me quite enough height, so I got to crank a little bit. But with this trailer, I don't have to crank at all. So that that's super nice. Um, my salter. It's a Salt Dog by Byers SHPE 4000, I believe. It can, uh, it's a four yard. It, uh, it's really nice. I, uh, there's not really a good way to chain on. I see I tried chain there, a little bent. So I bolted those on. I was gonna weld it, but I don't have a welder. So my buddy is ways away that welds it. Um, yeah, so I, I can't, uh, I have my chute on when I tow in the trailer. So I uh, just strap it right here and take it off when I need to salt. Um, it, it works really well. When I first used it, first used it like the first night out, wasn't working, wasn't working, couldn't figure it out. Like, what the hell? So take it off, take this guy off, look in there. Motor spinning, the auger isn't spinning. So they're basically the auger fits, the spindle fits into the little shaft in the motor and there's a pin that was, was non-existent. So looking for a pin, looking for a pin. Finally, I'm like, oh, I just use an Allen key. Took an Allen key, bent that. Um, that's still in there and I got a couple pins for backup. The, the chute goes on fairly simple. Just hook it on here, hook it in there and those lock in. Um, other than that, I don't have any any complaints. It's got two big old vibrators on it. Um, just got it sitting on wood. I don't. But the and then back to the the air suspension. It uh, I think it's rated for fourteen thousand or something. And 
I'll have probably nine on the bed. The bed weighs a thousand, so ten, and then I got a couple, two, three thousand on the for tongue weight on the trailer, maybe. Um, so I, you know, I'm I'm maxing it out. The truck handles is fine, no problem. But yeah, no no issues with uh, the salter. Um, my plow, it is a. Western MVP3 stainless, of course, and it is the it is the nine foot six. They have the one foot or I don't know what they are wings. So straight, probably be about eleven six, give or take. I'm sure. Um, it's got the upgraded LEDs, which uh, are, are plenty bright. I haven't ran a plow with. The, the standard version but they do me good I mean you can always use more light plowing but um, so yeah I wasn't sure what plow to get my dad's kind of got my dad's got his own thing going on he does residential and uh, I was like well I'm gonna get a Western so did some research they seem pretty reputable but I'll just get Western just we got the same parts and stuff so this is what he runs and he runs an 8.6 with the wings um, and then the mounting system on this guy the mounting system on this is is super simple like I was very impressed um, so you basically just drive in I can use his but you can use mine it's the same deal those little things you can take them off drive in um pull these pins lift up lock in same thing other side and then do your wire your connections um his truck's got three for some reason 2019 18 chevys need a third plug for whatever reason mine's just got two um yeah and then you're good to go drive away and then when you unhook just um the pin locks up just undo the pin put it down step on this guy and you're good to go I mean it's super fast especially when you get it lined up the first right away um, moving back look at that guy this is the trailer I run it's my dad's trailer Versa dump mid soda 16 foot um, super pleased with it I don't think there's any well, there, I wish it had more D-loops, but other than that, I think, I don't think I have any complaints. Um, fork hole pockets, but, so I, I run gooseneck trailers in the summer normally, and couldn't do that because of the salter, so I had to rig up, like, something for my plow, because it, <clears throat> it's too wide for the trailer. So I made this guy, first it was just this bottom layer put it on there way too is bend and bowing uh, dad looked at it, he goes oh yeah you double it up so double it up now it works well so I basically just <clears throat> basically just uh, put my put the plow up there wings are back put that up there undo the quick attach um, set my arms down and then I drive forward so I try to put my blade right in the middle here, drop it down, put my arm down, and then I got my bucket under there. It, it's it's pretty smooth, easy unloading unlo and loading. Um, yeah, and then the trailer is also dual purpose. So <clears throat> on to skid loader plow setup. We'll start with the skid loader. It. Uh, It is a Cat 257D. It's a 2019 high flow two speed. It's the it's got the MTL multi train loader, multi train tracks, kind of like an ASV's got. Um, this this thing does um, a lot better than I was expecting in this. No, I was concerned because all its tracks, everyone's run wheeled, but it, it it does it does really well very comparable if not 
better in some situations snow plowing i mean you could climb you can climb piles what you can't do with a wheeled machine um, so I, I got the forestry package kind of i guess it's not like a 299 forestry package but i got the light guards pre-air cleaner um front light guards and it's got like the plastic door or plexiglass i don't know what it is but it doesn't shatter it, sc it scratches is if i'm running i do a lot of stuff in the woods in the summer hauling brush um it uh if some smacks against this it won't like shatter so <clears throat> and then yeah overall super pleased with the machine i think it's i got it i don't know six months ago or something it's got 150 or so hours on it so yeah it's i'm impressed i was I, at first i was like ah oh, you know what it's kind of small might want to go bigger but I, I get it in tight spaces visibility is is great most people are like oh cat scratch crack terrible visibility but i mean I, both sides i can see right here through the window i mean sides visibility is good back is it doesn't bother me i mean i can probably see the ground 10 feet behind me and then it's got a backup camera of course which is a plus um heated seat it's it's got all the good stuff so i'm pleased um now my plow um metal plus 8 to 13 live edge max pro i believe is what it's called so it, end of the summer coming around or midsummer i'm like well i gotta get a i want to get a snow plow i'd worked for someone else last year and want to do my own thing this year i uh, like oh you know i ran cage ran cage last year well last three four years on a wheeled machine and i was impressed i didn't run anything else besides like a bucket but i was impressed with that um i honestly think i could compete with two same skid loaders with a cage with this uh, i'd keep up for sure if not do better um so yeah overall pretty pretty pleased i mean of course it's a bigger investment than a cage i believe cages maybe run about nine nine grand this was closer to 19 so it's a big initial investment but you know this, this thing is beefy it's it's got to be probably two 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 pounds like two thousand pounds but i mean everything is super thick well built all i had to do is is plumb it my skid loader had everything it needed so i just need to plumb it and wire it um it's got the live edge i think it's what the max pro have like this this is a trip edge and each individual one of these is a trip and they do their they'll go on different levels so that will go up or hit a bump only one of them will go kind of like an arctic sectional pusher um i actually just uh did a competition with the dirt monkey um my skid loader and my plow versus his asv i think rt75 and uh in his uh, 13 foot arctic sectional um you know his his can hold way more snow because mine's 13 foot straight blade but he's got a 13 foot box but it was a it was a battle for sure and you guys will have to check out his channel and check out the video and yeah it was it was sweet um these blades i i don't know what the outside metal is ar 400 or something i don't know but they got carbide inserts and they say you get about 700 hours out of them so that's pretty impressive um they're not cheap of course but uh yeah i mean anything else you guys want to know want a more in-depth review or my opinion on something just just uh let me know and uh i'll do uh what i can um, feel free to give me a, a like a like or a thumbs up or uh please subscribe i'll keep keep bringing out content um follow my instagram maxx underscore ex
Um, I post on there more often than YouTube. Kind of just getting started on YouTube. Same with Instagram, but uh, I'm trying to get up there in my social media, get some good, uh, good advertisement, and I enjoy it. So hopefully you guys enjoy my content. Maybe learn something. Maybe I learned something from you guys. Um, yeah, have a good one and uh, happy New Year.